Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a, um, not a normal video for me. This is going to be a, let's see, a review for me on what I think of E3 so far. Now, um, there didn't be announcements, the Xbox 720, so the Xbox One, which is a terrible name, I'm going to call it the Xbox 720, and the PS4. Now, um, I was... I, I, I like Xbox 360, that is, but the Xbox One, uh, no. Just no. It's adding a bunch of useless features that I don't need, I don't want. Yeah, I just don't want any of those features. I mean, like, let's see. Um, the capture card, for instance, inside, it can only record 360p. I have a capture card already in my computer, it can record in 1080p and that costs about 100 so you're saying a loan, wait, no, no, not a loan but the Xbox does come with Kinect as well, now I already got a Kinect, it's literally underneath my desk, I do not use it, it's a piece of crap, you can hardly do anything, it doesn't even listen properly, I tried to play Mass Effect on it once and all it just messed my game up. It it didn't do anything. The Kinect Adventures game. When I first when it first came out, I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be amazing. Now when the games came out for it, I I used to blame it on the fact that I didn't have any room. I didn't have, didn't have any space in my room. But now that I've moved into a new house, I've got plenty of room. Eh, I just don't want to use it anymore. I'm gonna sell it. Hopefully I'll. Tr I might keep my 360. I don't know. Keep my 360. Sell a bunch of stuff. Either get a, another gaming PC or buy the PS4. Now the PS4. Seriously, the PS3 I didn't like at all. I was I was an Xbox fanboy. I will admit that. But now, with the presentation PS4 has done, it's it has won me over. Seriously, it has won me over. For example, let's see. The fact that it's actually cheaper for once. Now, I'm not. I don't come from a rich family. But come. But even if it's like seventy pounds cheaper, it's worth it. It's not going to have the useless features like the connect and the fact. Oh wait, another thing about the Xbox, you have to connect to the internet at least once a day. Does that mean you won't be able to, you won't be able to turn your Xbox on if you don't connect to the internet? Now, what if someone's internet got turned off? There's been some, uh, let's see, wiring problems. And their internet's been shut off for two weeks. Are they not going to be able to play the Xbox for two weeks? That That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about. But yeah, anyway, back to PS4. Um, it's cheaper. It's about five dollars. I don't know if it's gonna uh, equivalent to five pounds a month for thingy. That's pretty good, seeing as a year for Xbox Live Gold it costs about sixty pounds maybe, which in general is about seventy eighty dollars. Now <laughs> that is a lot of money. Um. But, let's see, the only thing I don't like about PS4 is the controller. It's just awkward to hold. I mean, like, the Xbox controller, I've got one in my hands now. It just it feels so right to use. But the PS4 controller, it just feels weird. Both analog sticks are at the bottom. It just, it's just it's uncomfortable. If there's ever a USB controller, that's the Xbox one, but it fits into the PS4 and works then I'm going to get that. Now let's talk about the actual gameplay of stuff. Now Xbox came out and said that they're cutting out the middleman. You can't sell your games. You can't sell your second hand games anymore. I don't know if there's, that's been debunked or what or there's a rumour that you're allowed to. But let's put it this way. If I get a game if I and I complete it, and there's nothing else to do on that game, I've got all the achievements, I've done everything, and I think, eh, I don't want to play this game anymore, 
I want to sell it. I don't want to keep it and just let it collect dust. I want to sell it so I can get more money to buy another game. But they're, all they're thinking about is getting more and more money so they can make more and more useless crap. <laughs> but what I really, what I really found funny was the PS4 ad. Um, it says, first, two people, one of them said, this is how you share games on the PS4. And then it cuts like this after effects or special effects thing. It says, step one, sharing. <laughs> And then you just see the dude handing over the game saying, here you go. And then the dude saying, thank you. <laughs> oh, that was just absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> and also, let's see, the games that are coming out as well. Yes, I'm probably going to get both of them. I'm a YouTuber. I'm probably going to get both because I might be playing some Xbox One games. I'll probably be playing some PS4 games on my YouTube but there are some games on the actual P uh, the Xbox One that I do want for example um, there are some exclusives I think there's only one I want actually Dead Rising 3 that lit that seriously looks like an amazing game it doesn't look like Dead Rising 2 at all which I love I love that it's now more of a serious zombie game but still have the fun of killing zombies like uh, in the trailer you saw him put a sledgehammer and a chain and a chainsaw together and you saw him throw it the sledge the sledge saw or the saw hammer <laughs> at a zombie split him in half you just saw his parts just like split in half and just fall to the ground and he got in a car the only thing I don't like about it though is a smart glass thing you have to you can use a smart glass to uh, call it artillery strikes now £429, I'm hardly going to get enough money for that, let alone a smart glass or tablet or whatever. I think the tablet costs like a few hundred. I'm not going to get enough money for that. So altogether it's going to cost like £700 to £800. Now, let's see, some of the games at E3, now that I've finished ranting about the consoles, I'm not a Nintendo, Nintendo person, mostly because they've said that you're not allowed to play Nintendo games on uh, YouTube anymore. They've banned it. I don't know if they're going to stick to that or what, but some of the games, I've got a list here, so let's have a look. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, to be honest, I think they're making too many Assassin's Creed games. I'm sure they're not, they're really changing it up, but the fact that it's just, it's the same. It's just an assassin going through the world. There's some problems. You make friends. You get recruits and stuff like that. It's nothing new. But I'm probably still going to get it because I do like Assassin's Creed. Don't get me wrong. I might diss it, but yeah. Another one, Call of Duty Ghost. I'm starting to dislike Call of Duty. Basically, like Assassin's Creed, it's just the same thing. But Call of Duty have released more games. And... It's getting stale. It's the same thing. First person shooter. You go in the world murdering people. There's a plot twist. You end up murdering a person you thought was your friend. Or your comrade. And then blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just getting boring to me. Alright let's see. Any other games. Elder Scrolls Online. That. Oh my god. I signed up for the beta, but for some reason it didn't work. I tried a few times, but it said I wasn't allowed to. That I, I was annoyed at that. I, I seriously wanted to play it, but it does look like an amazing game, and I'm probably going to get it. It's only on the PC though, which I'm not too bad about. I'm, I'm, I want to get an awesome gaming PC. Hopefully that'll work. Final Fantasy on the PS4. One of the what other reasons I'm getting a PS4. One of the some of the games that are coming out only on. PS4, like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. Oh, well, okay, I'll get onto Kingdom Hearts in a later date. Uh, Final Fantasy 14, A Realm Reborn, only on the PC and PS3. So, <laughs> it's not an Xbox. And the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. Now, I don't know if it's just the PlayStation games or if it's also the Nintendo DS games as well. 
like uh, 358 slash two days and uh, recoded and dream drop distance I don't know if they're all going to be turned into PlayStation 4 games I'm not too sure Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 now Final Fantasy 12 and 13 uh, I couldn't finish them I seriously couldn't finish those games they were they were uh, uh, I, uh, I don't even know what to say NBA Live 14. Now, is that NBA 2K 14? I don't know. Vita, PS3, Xbox, Wii. No, that's no, sorry, that's for a different game. Xbox One and PS4. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at that. Let's see what other games there is. Saints Row 4. Now, Saints Row 3 was an was an awesome and funny game. The way you could just get like a, I don't know how long it was, but just like a purple transparent dildo and just beat people up with it. That was fun. I'm I'm definitely going to get Saints Row 4 if it looks good though. Uh, Zelda games only on the Wii U. Uh, uh, nah. Uh, let's see. Those looks like all the games that I really want this year. So yeah, guys. Um, if you've stayed around to the end of the video, I also have a goal or a dream, whatever you can call it. But you know how some YouTubers get. Um, what are able to go to E3? Captain Sparkles. Don't know if Ant Venom's going. KSI. But they are all going to E3. Now my goal is to get popular enough on YouTube that I'm able that they let me go to E3. Like they send me an invitation saying, "Hey, would you like to go to E3?" And I'll just I'll just drop dead. <laughs> Now, that can only be achieved by you guys. Why am I pointing at my microphone? That can only be achieved by you guys. Now, you all enjoy my videos, hopefully. Now, I want to do it to a larger audience. So that requires you telling people about my YouTube, telling them to come check out my channel, telling them to subscribe, telling them then to check out, to tell their friends about to check out my channel. It can only be done by you guys. Now, I do live stream. I do get a bit of subscribers from that. Which is how I mainly got most of my 300 subscribers. But, yeah guys, it's all up to you. How badly do you want to see me um, get popular on YouTube? Because I've seen some comments saying, I really hope you get popular on YouTube. You're going to get bigger than that. Now, it's only time to put that in action. <laughs> if possible... A thousand subscribers by the end of the year now I'll probably do a vlog sometime soon have another goal saying all this but yeah uh, <laughs> thanks for listening guys I hope I haven't annoyed any Xbox fanboys or any PlayStation fanboys uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys I really hope you've enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to tell your friends our next subscriber goal is 500 thanks for watching guys Bye.